I don't know if anyone else just wakes up on this lockdown stuff, having done not a lot and feels so tired. Like Chloe and I like struggle to get out of bed. I mean, admittedly she's doing more than I am. But I don't know whether it's to do with like, you know, the old cocktail weekends, cocktail Saturdays or, or whatever, but just, I've never slept so deeply or wanted to sleep more in my life and I'm not doing anything. Let me know if you're uh, experiencing the same. By the way, this is episode five of, of Locked Up. Welcome, it's gonna be another exciting adventure of absolute nonsense and nothing and coffee and arguments and just dealing with normal stuff. Frustratingly, at our local supermarket, they won't let me and Chloe in together. So I'm trying this new disguise out. Mexican wrestler. Do, do you think I'll get away with it? I'm pretty much just... Right, well that, well that negativity is never gonna get us anywhere. But I'm na Nacho Libre, and I just wanna go shopping for some protein. So I don't know why you can argue with that. Let's see if it works out, shall we? We're outside. This is incredible. I haven't left the house in a week. Look at you, driving the big boy car again. Such a special My car's day. bigger than this car. Wow, but you're not normally allowed to drive this one because it's for a more skilled driver. It's our daily shop. We're not allowed to go into the supermarkets together. I, Chloe told me that I can't go in this mask because I'm an idiot and they'll recognise me and also it'll just cause trouble and that I may get arrested. Did you take a photo of the thing on the wall? No. Oh, for fuck's sake, James, right. We are not writing <laughs> the shopping list on that wall anymore. Well, fine, we'll turn around, we'll go and take a photo. We'll turn around, we'll take a photo. No, 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 it's fine, yeah. I know. I'll just walk through the arts and get everything oh, I know we need. Well, but at least mistakes. So your idea was to write it all on the yeah, wall. Did, yeah, but and ever since then, it's never gone right. No, I did. I took it. You I took it right. Separate emails of lists. No, no, need, no. Separate texts. I... Separate photos of things. And then you're also writing it on the wall. It's like you just no. put it. Just make a note on your phone. That's your shopping list. No, I. I'm mean, the list on the wall. I forgot to take a photo. I was like, we were doing an interview. We had our interview today. Did we get into the sun today? <laughs> High powered discussions with bizarre. All we did was talk about the fact that he was super happy because his girlfriend walked around the garden all day in a bikini. Which just makes me look bad because all I do is never wash my hair in my sweatpants. Yeah, um, and I talked about how important the NHS were. So we, we did, we got some good high level chat. Now we're off to the shop. Oh, good. So you, you made sure to highlight to the country that yeah. the NHS is really important right now. Yeah, I need to flag that really important information. People weren't already aware. Well, of that. were they though? Were they? I was always aware. Um, you had to tell them. I had to fulfill, uh, well not, not fulfill. I am really happy that all those douchebags that always say really annoying things like, well, I don't trust that from rock, have <laughs> finally been proven wrong. Yeah. But the guy was right, he was like, it's so ridiculous that it took this to happen for people to realise how much we need them and how underfunded they are. That's and I was so like, true. it's so true, but I'm glad that it makes all the complete arsehole shut up now. <laughs> Ooh, fiery. Well, on that note, we're off to the supermarket with no shopping list. We're not allowed in together. I've got to post my blood test sample that I did today and some other letters. Um, and then we're going to try and sneak into the shop separately and we'll probably just fill some adventures in there but we're, there's a big extensive list there's quite a few things that we're going to forget things, but like, garlic everyone, fruits every, vegetables I'll remember it don't worry oh. everybody we know is like just like go separately and then you'll get in there together because I think there's a part of it of like we're stuck in the house together all day every day it's quite nice to go and do like a shop together yeah. but I know that it's like kind of like breaking the rules but everyone we know is doing it yeah. but we can't do it because the security yeah. guards well, are like mega noises who are obsessed with rugby if you <laughs> if you were uh, if your friends were jumping over a cliff would you do that with them as well no i wouldn't but you would because you're a sucker for peer pressure oh, rude goodness gracious me the sun is shining we're out and about I'm going to post a load of stuff which is going to be super exciting. Other than that, not a lot to report. So it's my hey, main business in the shop, isn't it? Please stop filming. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. We beat the system. <laughs> we beat the system. We're in the shop together. I, I got a separate shop trolley, but apparently they changed the rules. They changed they? the rules, and can you stop filming? All right. All right. What do you think about, we've got the wings hot sauce, so we're going to get a Chulo hot sauce? We've got, we've got loads, we've got about five cups of hot sauce. You sure? Yeah. 
because that's a massive shout if we get all the way here and we're allowed to get and you drop the ball you're a bit of a ball dropper keep an eye yeah oh no we don't have the left so just keep looking at everything i am looking at things i love how i'm taking the heat for chloe you honestly don't know what you're talking about so, coconut milk flour two packets of eggs two packets of eggs remember Stay away from Ben and Jerry's, not for you, not for big rigs. Oh, I, I, do you know what I did actually think? Maybe a fruit strudel. <laughs> I did. Are you joking? Why? You know how I feel about fruit based desserts. Yeah, okay. You are quite angry about fruit based desserts. Ice cream, ice machine the ice machine's still. sufficiently stocked up. Want me to do what? We're having so much fun in the supermarket here, I just can't tell you how much we're loving being out of the house. Just scratching little weird woman here because she's got scratchies. Here we go, eggs. Yeah, give, give no, the eggs. Like uh, yeah, but are they free range? Are yes. they, uh, have those chickens had a good time? Free range eggs. Have they had a good time? Yeah. But these, ooh, they're oh, broken. They're, well, they're broken. But these eggs, right, when I give you your um, one of them, the yeah. shells like peel right off them. Yeah. Because they're, e they're excellent. I can't figure out why, but it's amazing. Because they're excellent, that's why. Look how much fun you're having in the supermarket. I love food shopping. I used to do it with my dad. It's like a real comfort. But you obviously prefer doing it with me, is what you're saying. What? You're not as funny as Dickie. Okay. Dickie does really funny things, like fart at the checkout. <laughs> pretend you didn't. Oh dear God. Oh, so nice, isn't it? Just out there shopping together, bonding in the aisles. We're allowed out bacon for mornings. If you want, if you want it from school. Yeah, I'll get some, yeah, I'll get some smoked, little smoked number. The rig is in tatters during this quarantine, I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing? Why are you doing it? Getting Your ginger beer top up. Right, ginger beer. Well done. Yeah, lightly dusted place. I love a lightly dusted place. Any candles? Oh, candle named after you. Plum. Yeah, actually, let's. this one's really nice. It's like sugary. Mmm, yummy, smell it. Yeah. So I'm sure, uh, we needed uh, extensive. Good to see the Muppets have stopped hoarding. I don't have candles there, babe. Three? <laughs> I'm not used to handing out mini sausages. You're not used to ever getting a mini sausage. You're used to big, hefty, on wiet, those big French horse sausages. I think like one packet of this was tiny as like 400 calories. Yeah. You shouldn't be boring, should you? Oh, God, Nora's box. Hello? I'm not driving anymore. God, yes, you're so strong. I'm, I oh. still like to avoid getting fat there. Well, try not to get, try not to get fat and you'll be fine. I mean, it's me, James. <laughs> I love food more you'll than I you. You'll be fine. You'll be all good. Magic. <laughs> well, a relatively successful shopping trip. We were allowed in. Didn't get too naughty up. Didn't upset anyone. Didn't overbuy. Um, we did eat some of the food as we were going around, but other than that, not a lot to really report. Now back off to barbecue. We haven't trained today. We've really, 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 really let the side down. How was your shopping trip? Fantastic, except quite stressful because a lady told me that she just bought my book and then she asked me to figure out her macros on the spot, and I was like, uh. No, <laughs> it's very awkward. Like I want to help, but that's like, I mean, a bare minimum of 10 minutes sat down with a pen and a paper and yeah. a conversation. Not really two meters um, quarantine. Not really two min meters standing in the veg aisle, mathematics mm. for me. Cause it, you know, it takes, a, it takes a minute to figure it out. I suppose so. Well, then I said to her, I literally said, I was like, so do you track? She was like, no. And I was like, well, what? Why do I need, why, why are we doing your macros then? But, but my favourite bit is when you said to her, um, she said, I bought your book, you went, which book? She went, I don't know. Yeah, but in fairness, 
I do have a view out there. All right, turn it up, but it's still the number one book. No, but I mean, when someone said to the body coach, like, oh, to the body coach, like, I bought your book, which one? Yeah. And, but I'm not comparing myself to the body coach. Well, it sounds like you are a little bit. I reckon he, they'd be like, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, he's got Encyclopedia Britannica of books. Well, did you know? No, I didn't know. He made the majority of his money from his uh, online stuff, not his book sales. Yeah, he did. 150 sheets a time. Because as we know, there is not that much money to be made in book sales unless you're like, you know. Harry Potter. Yeah. I mean, or Lee Child. Well, Harry Potter didn't write the books, but. Well, Harry Potter did write the books, and that's what his magic was. My team. JK Rowell. My publishing team is the same as Lee Child's publishing team. Right. I don't understand why we're not jumping on some kind of bandwagon and getting him to promote my book. I oh, know, well, I just don't know. He's too busy sort of dealing with Jack Reacher. Who, Jack Reacher can deal with himself. Yeah, it's very true. Your dad thinks he's Jack Reacher, but that's another story for another day. You know, it's so funny. My dad always like when James sent him to MMA. My dad tries to give him advice. I literally don't think my dad's ever had a fight in his life. And was like, well, Jack Reacher always says, just kick him in the knees. Yeah, kick him in the knees. <laughs> and then started like miming, kicking someone in the knees. I was like, what are you doing? But also, Jack Reacher does say when you know one of the most deadly things is when you're dealt with, you know, come across a knife. As your dad reminds you all the time, I was like, they don't have knives in the office. He's like, well, if they did, you'd be in trouble. I was like, yeah, I'm in trouble full stop. Um, so the shopping trip was successful. We're now back off to relax. I think I fancy some Ozark this evening. So do I, actually. I've looked at the comment section of both the last two episodes and no one has suggested we do anything. So everyone's just going, I like it, or, you know, but no one's really said, oh, we've got to do any challenges. So we just really just have to keep filming shit as we're doing it. I think it's pretty easy. This will basically be a documentation of me gaining weight from this point on. Yeah. And your terrible chat. What did you just say about me? Nothing. Yes, you did. You said all I can see is a, a, a big belly and no bum. No. <laughs> that's not nice, is it? No, I think someone did say that. And that's being nasty to people, isn't it? It's not going to be good for one's confidence, is it? Someone says, I've got a big belly, a big belly, and a big bum, and a small bum. No, I don't want to show anybody. No, don't put your put thing, don't put your book. That's attack, that's attack. That's inappropriate, that's an attack. That's, inap that's inappropriate, Chloe. That's inappropriate. People, people, you shouldn't be putting your hands there. <laughs> Chloe, you shouldn't ever be doing that. That's massively inappropriate. Don't, well, whatever, right, that's it, now we're going to bed. 